Today, I want to talk to you guys about, or give you guys, the ultimate Kyrie package. I will check your comments out. I see multiple comments you guys want to see Kyrie handle, break it down. I'll give you guys a couple methods to why Kyrie's bag is, is so elite. And I also want to give you some of his moves. Some you don't want to miss, man. You already know. Let's get it. All right, well, Kyrie Irving, one, he has a, obviously an elite bag, crazy handle, but you have to have fingertip strength. So right now I'm gonna take you through a quick jolt series. It's gonna help your fingertip strength. You're gonna make the basketball do a lot of crazy things and move really quick. So I wanna have my pound and then I wanna have a jolt pound. So notice I have my pound and right after that, I meet the ball and that ball just starts to stutter. So we go here and my fingertips are gonna be on it. So I have one regular pound and then it goes low. You guys can spend about 20 seconds there and then we'll do the same thing with your left hand. Notice how that ball dotes right after. So that fingertip strength right there. Same with our crossovers now. So we'll have that regular pound and then we'll just simply have a joke cross and I'm pushing it as quick as I can. This is going to be all my fingertip strength here, helping my speed up the ball or also when I lose my handle, I'm able to get the ball back and maybe create an ankle breaker out of that. So one is gonna be having just that fingertip strength. Two is gonna be power, simple power in my handle. Power is gonna come from your elbows. So when you dribble the ball, you're gonna be able to lock that elbow out. So the only thing we're doing right now is having a hard pound and then I'm going hard one, two. That first pound, I wanna make sure my elbow's driving through the floor. So I'm here, one, one, two. Notice how wide off the dog. Also, when I go between the legs, I throw my weight onto this side. My nose is over my toes. My shoulder drops down. Once you get six reps there, same six reps on the opposite side. At that power behind that treble, we got four. That's your fingertip strength right here. And then your elbow is going to be power your dripping. That's gonna be two. Next part here, number three is gonna be able to get shifty. First, I have to understand how to shift my weight from side to side. When I'm pounding the ball, I wanna simply focus on my weight shifting from right then right to left. Notice how my ankles are, notice how my feet go here. That's how I'm noticing I'm really shifting my weight over. So I'll just have my pounds. Noticing that weight shifting from side to side. Same thing going left, really shifting that weight. Once we go there, then I want to also have one pound and then I'll have my cross. So when I cross the ball over, once again, that foot is still going in here. If I'm going one, shift, 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 shift. Making sure I understand how to shift my weight. A lot of players might think this is something simple or easy, but really just focus it on how can I do a normal regular move and get that defender to follow or get that defender to shift out the way, understanding how I shift my weight. So making sure I understand weight shift. Once I tie that, my last one I want you guys to focus on is the pace. So Kyrie Irving has a really good flow dribble. He's able to be quick, he's able to be poised and slow, be able to change up his pace. So right now we're going simply quick two. One, two, after that second dribble, I want to have a, a flow or hauls. So I'm going one, two, and I'm going two quick crossovers. Quick, quick, crew. Notice how the pace changes, my relaxed, then back in quick. Notice as I'm doing this drill also, my feet are, are in that wide base. So even though I'm stationary and I'm not going anywhere, I'm ready to be wide and aggressive. Also, my feet being wide, it gives me a better angle to attack that defender. If I'm skinny, one, it's gonna be hard to shift my defender. Two, if I'm skinny and do a move, my defender's feet are wide, I have to adjust now before I attack, and that's what's gonna make me a little bit slower. Whereas we all know, Kyrie is not slow, unless he wants to be slow. He's probably setting you up for that killer crossover. So right here at this breakdown, one of Kyrie's signature moves, I can't even say a signature move, but how his body moves a lot. If now, when he gets into a stop situation, he'll have that, he'll have that lift of that pause, but he's really good at his screen turning. So he's gonna turn, maybe he's setting the defender up for that screen, he's turning the look, and as we know, defenders might lift as well. That's when they get lazy. And then now this is when Kyrie can explode. So right now he can load and get into a push cross. He can go through. If his defender is far enough, he's able now to get into a crossover and attack the basket. So let's focus on pausing with changing our pace, turning frame and then going.
Another key aspect is, is how well he's able to stop. Whether it's a speed stop, the full form of a punch or an overstep, or at times if you need to be into a, a little jump step, Kyrie Irving has mastered all three and knows exactly and uh, exactly when to do these moves. So right now we're gonna focus on stop separation, or we're gonna focus on more of an overstep or punch, or it can also be an under drag. As Kyrie Irving's going through it, he's able to really get into his under drag, get low, create that stop separation, and get into a fourth shot. And then lastly, which you've heard from multiple sources, Drew Holiday, one of the best defenders out there, was what makes Kyrie really hard to guard. It's not ever his first, second move, but it's third and fourth. He's a guy who get into a move, you'll play great defense. His secondary move, you'll play great defense. And by that time, he's got another move and a counter for it. So just really being able to have fun, exaggerate it, but also we're understanding. I gotta prepare myself for that elite defender who might be able to guard my first and possibly my second move. Do you have a third and a fourth move? Also, you gotta be in shape. If I'm doing three or four moves, I'm a Kyrie type of player. I gotta be in shape to do it over and over again. Finish the ultimate Kyrie package you knew I couldn't forget is his finish. But as you guys can see, whether he's finishing with his right hand or he's finishing with his left hand or he's making adjustments in the air, Kyrie is just an exceptional finisher when it comes to him getting in the paint, not only from his footwork, but his decision making in the air and being able to finish with both hands left and right. So when it comes down to it, his ability to change pace, his ability to also get low and have fingertip, forearm, have power, and then lastly, being able to have one, two, three, or four moves to your counter, to your counter, to your counter, and still be able to get the bucket and play defense on the opposite side. This is what's gonna create that ultimate Kyrie bad. If you liked today's video, make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Also, let me know what videos you wanna see next. Also, rate this video one to 10. What would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? Here I know, man, Coach Marcus Hodges, let's get it to you. Terrible with the button, like that.